respected sister principal vice principal all teachers and my dear fellow students on this auspicious occasion as we remember send you praise here so let us start with one of our quotes my divine savior may your holy be always fulfilled in me with this thought let us invoke the presence of almighty i invite divyanshi and arjit to lead us in a prayer with the blessings of the almighty with this prayer song let us lend our ears to listen about saint euphrasia our mediator i call upon sadvik to enlighten us with a speech mother euphrasia was born on 17th october 1877 in a village called katur in kerala her father antony was a well known businessman and her mother kunjati was a virtuous woman on the eighth day of her birth she was named rose after her paternal grandmother at the age of 9 rose has said to have experienced an apparition of blessed virgin mary which led her to make a commitment never to marry and to commit her entire life to god as she grew older rose wanted to enter the sister of mother of karmal who follow the third order of the skull karmalites but her father opposed this as he wanted to arrange a marriage for her with the son of another phosphorus family in the region seeking her result her father eventually relented and accomplished her to the convent she endeavored her life to lead a constant prayer and of devotion to the sacred heart of the jesus and becoming many people to known as the praying mother 
Euphrasia spent much of her day in the convent cafe before the blessed sacrament, which she had a strong devotion. Through frail in heart, in 1904, Euphrasia was appointed by Noe's mistress of the congregation. She held this position for nine years until 1930 until she made a superior of the convent where she had to live the rest of her life serving as mother superior until 1916. She died in 29th August 1952 at the age of 74 and canonized by Pope Francis on 23rd November 2014. Children like us pray for her to take blessings in exams and hardship. But this year, everything has changed. Now, on part of feast, let us kneel down and join our knees together with one prayer to the blessings overcome to the pathetic situations. Hope St. Euphrasia motivates us to achieve greater heights in our spirituality Moving ahead, let us hear a beautiful song on her, sung by Parth. Prepared by Shikhar. Saint Euphrasia, the praying mother. Birth of Saint Euphrasia, 
Santi Prisia was born on 17 October 1877 at Kattur, Kerala, India. She was born in a religious family. Her mother was a pious lady. She diverted her towards devotion for God. Becoming nun. Her father first opposed her to become a nun, but seeing her resolve, he eventually relented and accompanied her to the convent. Saint Teresa's experience of God. Whenever she moved anywhere or do something, she used to say that someone is watching her with affection. She was not able to see, but she was able to feel. Her help to people. Saint Teresa was said to perform miracles before and after her death. For example, she is said to have healed a deaf, dumb, and crippled child, and she delivered a woman from possession by the devil. She was also known as the praying mother. Saint Eupresia's death. Saint Eupresia is said to have a vision of the Holy Family, at which the point illness she had long felt ceased. She died at Olur, Thrissur, on 29th August 1952 at the age of 74. She was canonized as a saint by Pope Francis on 23rd November 2014 in Vatican City. The coffin in the church is a view side in today's Saint Eupresia pray for us. We are grateful to Shikhar for the informative presentation and assembly without something special is always incomplete. So To make it special here is a dance presentation by Parina thank you to the delightful dance performance a starting always have an end 
as we come to the end of our special assembly, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to our principal, Sister Marin, Vice Principal, Sister Arpita, our dear teachers and parents who guided us to make the most of this opportunity. Thank you all once again. Hope you have a cheerful day ahead.